Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. Today I'm gonna to be taking you through a fun vinyasa flow. It's suitable for all levels and it's just gonna feel really good. If you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button below. And you can also check out my online studio at jrockyoga.com for more flows like this and longer flows as well. Without further ado, let's get to the yoga. Let's get started today in our child's pose. So we're going to come to the backs of your mats, bring your knees as wide as feels good for you and your hips, and then bring your big toes to together to touch. Go ahead and crawl the fingertips forward until your forehead rests down on the mat. And just know that if this is a little bit too much stretching on the inner thighs, you can go ahead and bring the knees together and support your belly with the legs. And so this morning or this evening, whenever you're practicing, let's just start to take notice of what's going on around you, the temperature on your skin, any sounds that you're hearing. Just allowing yourself to become fully present in this moment. And let's start to take notice of our breath. Nice deep inhales through your nose. And nice long exhales through your nose. Finding a little pause between each breath. And then we'll slowly draw a nice deep breath in through the nose, fill into the back of your lungs the belly, all the way up, and then open your mouth, sigh out. Close off your lips and continue to breathe in and out through your nose. Let's spread your fingers wide on the mat. And as you inhale, just draw your body up to a nice tabletop position, finding the shoulders above the wrists and your hips above your knees. As you inhale, we'll drop your belly down, scooping your heart forward, pointing the tail up toward the sky. And as you exhale round your spine, press the back of your heart up toward the clouds and pull the belly in. Inhale, belly dropping down, opening heart, gazing up if the neck allows. Exhale, spine rounding, pressing the earth away. Then start to move with your own breath. Inhales, open front body. Exhales, open back body. So about one more round of each pose. And then we'll meet back in our nice neutral spine and walk our hands about three or four inches in front of us. Keep the finger bones spread wide. As you inhale, let's start to draw the hips forward, press into the hands so we don't sink into the shoulders, and then lift the heart, lift the crown of the head into a little mock cobra here. And then we're gonna tuck our toes. And as you exhale, pull the belly in, round through that upper back, and come to a little bit of an active child's pose. So toes are tucked. Good, inhale, round forward. Hips drop, heart lifts, heart lifts. Exhale, pulling through the belly, press through the hands to dome the back of the heart up as you sink it back into active child's. Inhale, come forward, lifting. Exhale, round back. Inhale, come forward, hold here, lift the knees, and now pull the belly in and lift the tops of the thighs up toward the sky. Can you gently puff the heart through the arms just a little bit more? Take an inhale. As you exhale, shins stay parallel to the mat. Press into the hands. Glide your hips and sitting bones up and back, downward facing dog. Beautiful big breath in. Long breath out. If this is your first movement of the day, maybe go ahead and pedal out your legs a little bit. Sway your hips from left to right. Give your body a little bit of love. And then we'll slowly come on back to stillness here. As you inhale, let's float your right leg all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, bend your knee, rotate your hips open. Inhale, straighten your right leg. And as you exhale, just gently, gently step your right foot in between your hands. Place your left knee down and inhale to sweep the arms up over your head. Find Anjane Asana. Maybe you lift the heart into a little bit of back bend. 
And as you exhale, let's plant the hands. Step back, both knees on the ground. Lower chest, chin. Inhale, slide forward, scooping the heart, pressing through the tops of the feet. Cobra. Exhale, press back through your knees, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts up to the sky, and as you exhale, bend your knee, rotate your hips open. Inhaling to straighten the left leg, and as you exhale, knee pulls forward. Gently step in between your feet, in between your hands, placing your right knee down. <laughs> Inhale, arms up over the head, Anjane Asana, lift the heart. And as you exhale, plant your hands, bring that left knee back, lower chest, chin. Inhale, slide forward, cobra. Shoulders down, hug elbows in. Exhale through the knees, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Big breath in. And long breath out. On your next inhale, let's come all the way up to your tippy toes. Press into the hands and then think about curling the tailbone in so your pubic bone comes to the bottom of the ribs. As you glide forward, bottom of the ribs to chest, chest to chin. And then last is the head to look, tilt the tailbone up, bend the knees, wave your sitting bones back like a big spinal wave. Good, exhale. Inhale, back up on the tippy toes, pelvic floor comes to ribs, ribs to chest, chest to chin. And then bend the knees, tilt the tail, wave it back. One more just like this, come all the way up. How slow can you go round forward like a little wave? And your exhale takes you back. When you return, big breath in and long breath out. On your next inhale, let's lift all the way up to the tippy toes. Shift that gaze forward, pull the belly in and with straight legs, tippy, tippy toe, your feet all the way up to your hands. As you inhale, halfway lift, either fingertips in line with the toes or on the shins, pull the back of the heart through the front of the heart, gaze forward. And as you exhale, bow forward and fold. As you inhale, let's rise all the way up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Sweep your arms up over your head, stretch tall. And as you exhale, come hands to heart. Close your eyes. Take a moment here to welcome in an intention for your practice. My intention is to make space for peace today. To let the anxiety go, even if it's just one or two percent. Sometimes when you say, let go of the anxiety, let go of pain, let go of anything, we hold tighter because it's, we're human. We think we're protecting ourselves. So maybe if we could just commit today, just letting go of whatever is holding on to us, whatever is causing us a little bit of stress, just 2%, we can keep the rest. That's my intention. Find your intention, take a nice deep breath in, and a nice long exhale. Blink the eyes open, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, let's flow. And as you exhale, bow forward, let it go. As you inhale, come to your halfway lift, belly and look up. And as you exhale, let's plant your hands, step back, you can lower down chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale, lifting through the center of your heart. Downward facing dog. As you inhale, ripple forward, coming through that nice spinal wave. And as you exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, send it back. As you inhale, float your right leg up to the sky. And as you exhale, bend the right knee, open your hip. Inhale, straighten the right leg and listen. As you exhale, heel to bum. Continue the exhale, start to curl your right knee into your nose, gazes forward, lightly step between your hands. Drop the back knee as you inhale, float the arms up over your head, Anjane Asana. Stretch tall, find your gaze. On your next inhale, tuck the back toes, lift your back knee into your crescent lunge. If it feels good, you can lift your heart up and gently start to take it back. Slowly coming back to neutral, drop your hands into your heart center. Take an inhale and exhale, just gently lean forward, pressing into the standing leg as you lift your back leg up off the ground. Warrior three. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Pull in the core. Think about lifting like cobra action through the spine and then find right beneath your left glute and lift from there. So lift the leg, lift the heart and then get as long as you can. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Inhale. And exhale. One more breath in. And as you exhale, plant your hands. Standing split. Straighten the left leg up to the sky. You could point the toe, or you can keep it flointed by spreading the toes. <laughs> Press through the bottom leg to lift out of your hip, and then take your neck and head out of it. They don't need to be involved. Core, breath, standing leg. Good. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Take one more inhale. Lift your left leg up. And now as you exhale, bend the right knee and start to send your left leg behind your right. Bend the left knee and just slowly place it outside of your right leg, coming to a little bit of a seat. Good, so left knee outside of right. Inhale, arms up over the head. And as you exhale, just gently twist over to the right, left elbow outside of right knee. Plant your right hand down behind you and go ahead and press down to de-elevate the shoulder and look over your right shoulder. Breathe in and exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Good, inhale, come on back to center. Go ahead, place your hands on the ground and lift your knees up into a boat pose. Pull up through the heart, <laughs> smile, we're working, and then go ahead and slowly start to lower into a hollow body. Good, tuck the ribs down, we'll hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, breathe, two, and one. Come all the way down, hug your knees into your chest. Good work. Breath in, breath out. Hug in the knees, start to rock and roll. Have fun with it, maybe one or two rocks. And then we're gonna press into the heels, sit up into our chair pose. Good, take an inhale in your chair. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, or you can skip it and go to Down Dog. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Inhaling our left leg up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee, rotate your hips open. Inhale, straighten your leg, now listen. Exhale, heel to bum, start to round as you curl your left knee into your nose. Place your left foot between the hands, right knee down, inhale, low lunge, rise. Hold your low lunge, reaching up, find length. Slowly tuck the back toes, lift your right knee up into crescent. If it feels good, you can start to look up, lift your heart and take it back. Don't forget to bend the left knee a little bit more and pull the left knee towards your left baby toe. The more you puff your heart up to the sky, the more you can safely go back. Slowly come on back to neutral, hands drop to heart center. As you inhale, we lengthen. And as you exhale, we slowly shift the weight forward and float our back leg up into our warrior three. Press down to the standing leg and squeeze those inner thighs together. Cobra action in the spine and we lift the back leg up a little higher. Use right from the bottom of your right glute, lift. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. One more breath in. Exhale, hands to the ground, right leg up to the sky, standing split. Point the toes or spread them, whatever feels best. Press down to lift up and out of your left hip. Head and neck, relaxed, find your breath. Keep working, I believe in you. <laughs> One more inhale, lift it up. As you exhale, bend your left knee and start to send your right leg diagonally behind. And then bend the right knee and just place that shin to the outer left ankle sitting down. Good. As you inhale, let's reach the arms up. And as you exhale, twist to the left, right elbow outside of left knee. Go ahead, plant the left hand, press down and look back over your left shoulder if the neck allows. Breathe in length, breathe out twist. Inhale, exhale. On your next inhale, let's look forward, plant the hands on the ground, and adjust into your Navasana. Boat pose, lift the heart. If you can straighten the legs, that's fine. You can reach the arms forward. Lift through the heart, lift through the heart, and then slowly lower all the way to hollow body. Good, hollow body, point those toes, or flex, or point, whatever works for you. 10, nine, eight, so strong. Six, five, four, three, 
two, and one, hug it in. Good, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Hug the core in, lift the shoulders, start to rock and roll one. And as soon as you get enough momentum, plant those heels, sit right up into your chair pose. Good work. Have fun with it. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, bow forward and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, vinyasa or skip it, meeting in down dog. Beautiful, on your next inhale, let's lift all the way up onto the toes, round forward, pelvis to ribs, ribs to chest, chest to chin. And as you exhale, wave it back. Inhale, right leg floats up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee, rotate your hips open. If you'd like to, let's flip your dog, placing right foot behind you, extend left. Press into the ground, lift your hips, reach overhead. Ground into that left wrist, left hand, so that you're not sinking into the shoulder. Press down to lift. Gorgeous, slowly come on back over and lift your right leg back into a three-legged dog. Squaring your hips, spread those beautiful toes. <laughs> Take an inhale, lift it up. And as you exhale, slowly sweep your right knee forward, coming for your half pigeon. Extend the left leg back, inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, bow forward and fold. You can have the forearms on the ground, you can have the whole belly on the ground. If it feels better to have your shin parallel to the front of the mat, you can. If it's a little bit too much on the glute, you can keep the knee more central. Depends on how you are, if you run or if you weight train, this is a little bit more of a challenging pose. So take the variation that feels best. And just really feel into your breath. Beautiful, a few more cycles here, just really feeling into the hips, allowing whatever needs to go to go. Maybe some emotions come up and we just commit to just letting go 2%. That's it, not too scary. And then we'll bring the hands back underneath the shoulders. Let's tuck the back toes and lift your back knee. Take an inhale and exhale, press into the hands and dome the shoulders until you're in a tiger curl, right knee into chest. Good, press and hold and then extend right leg back up to the sky, three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale, place right knee, right leg next to left. As you inhale, float left leg up to the sky. And as you exhale, bend the knee, rotate your hips open. Option here to flip your dog, left foot lands, extend right, press down and lift through the hips, open through the heart. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, slowly rotate back over, left leg back up to the sky, three-legged dog. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, sweep left knee forward, half pigeon. Take your variation, inhale, maybe you rise up first. And as you exhale, just bow forward, and just allow what is to be what it is. Come to your breath. Slow down the mind by focusing your attention on your breath. This is your time, your practice. You deserve peace in your life. You deserve the loving kindness that you so freely give to others. You deserve that for yourself as well. And we'll slowly start to make our way back up, planting the hands. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, take an inhale. Exhale, press into the hands, dome the back of the heart, pull left knee into chest, tiger curl. Good work, my strong yogis. Inhale, send the left leg back up to the sky, three-legged dog. And exhale, downward facing. Let's take a big breath in and a long breath out. On your next inhale, gaze it forward, lift up onto those tippy toes and start to walk your toes, straight legs, all the way up to your hands. Sink the hips, sit down in your chair. Send the weight back in the heels for one moment and tuck in the low ribs. We're gonna slowly reach forward like we're holding a basket full of puppies. 
They're going to be Pomeranians today, so they're not too heavy, but they're kind of wily, so make sure they don't jump out of the basket. Activate the biceps, really hold this basket, and then lift up onto your tippy toes. And like a slow elevator ride, squeeze the inner thighs together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lower, 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 lower. Until you sit all the way down on the ground. <laughs> Keep holding those puppies. Don't let them go. Come all the way down. All the way down, all the way down. Use your core. Good. And then hug the knees into the chest when you get there. Beautiful work. We're going to place our feet down on the mat and just gently extend the right leg up toward the sky. Straight leg or a little bit of a bend in it. Go ahead and take your hands behind your right thigh. Take an inhale. And exhale, just draw the right knee toward the face. It doesn't have to be, we don't want to hurt ourselves, so just pull enough to where you feel a deep stretch. And then take a deep breath in and a long breath out. If you feel like you can move the hands up toward the calf, go ahead, maybe pull another inch. But if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Deep breath in and out. If we can crawl the hands up to the <clears throat> ankle and then slowly contract the core, take an inhale. Exhale, work the knee towards the forehead. It does not have to touch the forehead, but it's just going in that direction for three, two, and one, slowly lower everything down. Good work. Plant the right foot, lift your left leg straight up. Hands interlace behind the left thigh. Take an inhale, and exhale, just gently pull left knee towards the face. Good, take a big breath in, and out. If you can move the hands up to behind the calf, go ahead, and just pull maybe one more inch. Take an inhale, big exhale. If we can move up to the ankle, contract the core, lift shoulders, lift forehead to knee. Don't force it, take an inhale. Exhale for three, two, and one. Beautiful work, release everything down. Go ahead and either cactus your arms or open them to a T, whatever feels good. And place your knees over to the left as you gaze to the right, taking a supine twist. Big breath in and long breath out. The hard work is done. You made it. Took time to fill up your own cup today. I'm proud of you. And you should be proud of you too. Inhale, come back to center. And then place the knees to the right as we gaze to the left. Breathing in to the left rib cage here. Calming down, slowing down. Slowly bring the knees back to center and begin to extend your legs nice and long for the final posture, Shavasana, where everything settles in and we get to reap the full benefits. Toes relax, big breath in through the nose, open mouth, exhale. Take rest here and just allow yourself to be supported and feel the peace. Thank you all so much for sharing your practice with me today. I hope you loved this practice. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button below. And also check out my online studio for flows like this and flows that are longer to really advance your practice at jrockyoga.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at jrockyoga and I'll see you next week.